Okay, here we are, 4.2 E-Type engine that has arrived with us from Edinburgh to do a full rebuild on the engine and gearbox. It's actually one family owned car after the first couple of years, so two, but technically one family have known it most of its life and we know that it's never been a part, so it'll be a pleasure to work on an unmolested engine that we know is basically original from the factory. We shall first remove the starter motor, then remove the bellows in bolts so that we can remove the gearbox. This allowing us to then get it transferred to an engine stand so that we're working at a more accessible height. This engine is actually having an upgraded start motor, high torque, and one thing to be imperative is the spacer plate still will need fitting. Okay, last two bolts and the bolts shall be free. Gearbox removed now, we have access to the uh, clutch, which we shall remove clutch and flywheel before putting on the stand to give good access. Okay, all the bolts are removed. You can actually see at this point the rusty water that's been stored in the seat from the head gasket area. Uh, so this engine was about to be on the verge of becoming unreliable looking at that. As previously demonstrated in our previous E-type uh, build, we are now knocking the locking tags over back off the bolt heads so that we can remove the flywheel. rejoin when we put it on the stand. Right, we are now lifting the engine to put it onto the engine stand that it shall then reside in for the, uh, for the duration of the strip mount. Now that the engine is on the stand, has been checked there is no oil in it so not needed to drain, the customer has already drained it. The next time we join this engine, we shall remove the inlet manifold and carburetors and then start to remove the head. You can follow us on www.cdbrclassicrestorations.co.uk if you want to follow us further. Thank you.